to this guy for QW, and we get what we're looking for. For J is equal to 2 pi KH mu QW naturally all over R E Q over R W. So where R E Q is approximately equal to 0 0.2 delta X. So we'll just use this simple piecemeal model and I'll, I'll, I'll come to it. And the next thing I'm going to do, it doesn't stem from the derivation, it's sort of a fudge factor, because I'm going to add a skin factor right here. So we could have some additional skin factor that comes from formation damage or something that affects the productivity of the well. Right. Yes, sir. Well, well, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> when we get to multi-phase, we'll, we'll have to make some more distinctions about what it is, but yeah, it's, it's well, it's well. Because it, yeah, I mean, it, it implicitly has the BW in it. And I just superscripted it instead of subscripted because I want to, I want to say that this could be unique per grid block, right? For the elf grid block that has a well in it, it, it could be different because you could have a different size well or different grid block size, which would give you a different REQ. So the productivity index is specific to the grid block and the well that's in that grid block. Okay, so then if we... write the mass balance, and we'll just write a 1D here. Implicit mass balance equation for the Elth grid block. using our transmissibility definition and this definition of accumulation B. That's exactly what we had in 1D case, but now we know that QL, we have a sort of a new definition for QL, that it is JL W PL minus P well flow rate. Right? And that's PL at the n plus one time step if we're gonna do this implicitly. And so therefore in the in the spirit of doing things consistently where we always put the unknowns on the left hand side of the equation and the things we know on the right hand side of the equation. Let's do that. Sort of group terms like we've done before. So then we have in matrix form
So we have to modify, right? Without the J there, that's exactly what we've always had. But now we have this modification to that. Now J is a diagonal matrix, so again, say we had a four grid block system. Say we had a well in the third grid block, then J would be like that. And it, then also Q would be Now we know how to handle wells, or at least one well. Any questions? CFO.